Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing an unboxing. I ordered from The Real Real. If you guys have not heard of The Real Real, it's a luxury consignment online boutique. Actually, I think they have a store in Manhattan, but um, I was able to go to the website. They have luxury consignment items where you can buy Prada, Gucci, Celine, Alexander McQueen, like all the designers that we all know and love, you can find them pre-loved on The Real Real. Now, I've had the app on my phone for very long. Like, I mean, months, probably like six months and I've never ordered anything from them. I would scroll and check it out and see what they had. But they were doing their real, real sale and I think they have like up to 50% off. Well, actually I hadn't even decided I was gonna buy anything when I saw that they were doing the sale. But I was scrolling and then I saw a necklace with the A initial, but instead of just a regular A initial, it was an ad sign. And I was like, oh my gosh, I have to get this necklace because it's so cute. So I decided I was gonna try it out, but the only thing is that it's final sale. So I really hope I love it. Let's just open it and then we'll keep talking about it. I actually had this for weeks and I was waiting to show you guys so I didn't open it. So I'm really anxious and it's final sale, so I can't return it. So it comes with a little bit of bubble wrap and it has a card that says, the real real the card is an authenticity guaranteed card it gives you a little bit about the real the real real we are thrilled that you found something you love on the real real we stand proudly behind the authenticity of every item we sell the real real is a leader in the circular economy and by shopping and consigning with us you're helping the environment by extending the lifetime value of luxury goods and the little message they have about authenticity is at the real real there is an expert behind every item our gemologist at the real real, our gemologists, horologists, and luxury brand experts inspect every item to every item we sell. Each piece is put through a multiple point brand ex in <laughs> It's a really long blurb. It just tells you how they authenticate their al their albums. <laughs> It's not really long, but it just basically tells you that they authenticate their their items and they stand behind what they're selling and the prices that they value every item at. And um, you can just really count on them to make sure you're getting the value for what you're buying. They have offices, it says luxury, so visit us, luxury consignment offices, free valuations and consignment drop-off service in Chicago, LA, Miami, New York, San Francisco, and Washington, DC. They don't have any stores where I live, unfortunately, so I wasn't able to walk in anywhere. I can only shop online, but that's good to know. Um, free in-home pickup. Oh, they can come to you. Schedule an appointment with a luxury manager and they'll come to you. I'm assuming that's only in the areas where they have the stores, but you never know. If you're interested, visit the website and see if they can come to you if you have any items that you want to consign. You can ship to your house like I did. You can visit the website and um, you can buy there and you can consign there. So that's really good to know. Now let's get into the item. Well, what's this? Oh, it's a little bit about the item that I bought. It's not gold, it's a necklace. Okay, well first of all, let me just show you what it is before we get all excited about it. Let's just see if we like it. So it comes in a little pouch, says the real real. The pouch is not that fancy. Could have been a little bit nicer. Pretty cute. So it is an at sign. So it's an at sign. A for Ashley, obviously. I thought it was really cute when I first saw it. It's gold and it has black enamel. Now, the real real is selling this necklace for a hundred and twenty five bucks it's valued at four hundred dollars but I got it for sixty five dollars so I was able to get it at like a super discount so I, I paid sixty five bucks for it and I think that I mean honest I'm gonna be a hundred percent honest looking at it it's a really nice necklace it's beautiful and I'm, I don't regret purchasing it now when I look at it do I think that it's worth four hundred bucks no a hundred and twenty five bucks no um sixty bucks I don't see why not. It's a, it feels pretty um, wavy. It's decent. It's decent quality. I don't feel like it's gonna break or snap. The enamel part is not heavy. Like it looks heavy online and it's not heavy in person. But it definitely doesn't look cheap at all. I really do like it a lot, and I think that it's gonna look cute with a lot of my things. And it has a label on here that says jewelry security label. Returns will not be accepted if security label is tampered. So if this wasn't a final sale item, as long as I kept the security tag on it, I'd be able to return it. So just putting it on, the drop is a little bit longer than I wanted. It'll be really cute for turtlenecks and uh, crew necks and v-necks t-shirts. With what I'm wearing right now, it hangs a little bit too low, but I'm gonna shorten it just for the purposes of this video. I want you guys to just see how the details and how it looks. It's really cute and I really do like it a lot. It's by a brand called Ericsson Beeman. I'd never heard of this brand before I shopped this sale. And 
I found out that they actually have been in business over 30 years. They are a luxury brand. Um, if you go to their About Me page on their website, they did a lot of huge collaborations with big brands that we all know. So I felt like that that was another reason why I could kind of trust that this was going to be a really nice necklace as far as the quality. And I will say I'm not disappointed. I'm glad I didn't pay $400 and I'm glad I didn't pay $125. I think what I paid for this necklace, $62 is pretty good. Um, it's gonna last. It's already lasted. You do have to just really use your own judgment when you're shopping these these luxury brands because I know people get really caught up in the hype of owning a luxury brand that they forget to pay attention to quality. I mean, just because a name is on an item doesn't mean it's worth what they're charging you. So I just encourage you to all really pay attention and just make sure what you're getting is something that you would wear or you would want to have or you would stand behind whether it had that luxury brand name or not and i think that i would stand behind this item for what i paid for it now when you shop on the real real they do have like different levels of what they i guess you would call it a rating for how they describe the condition that the items are in this necklace was in very good condition and the um, very good condition means it had light scratches and wear throughout the metal so I felt like that they were being honest in the description and what they were selling it for. I felt like they were giving me all the details and they give you close up shots of the item so you can make your best judgment. And I'm sure if you email them and ask them for close up pictures or more details, they'll do that as well. I didn't feel like I needed to do that so I can't for sure say that they will. These other luxury consignment websites will do that for you. And if they do want to stand behind their products like they say they are doing, then I'm sure they'll be more than happy to further discuss the items that you're interested in purchasing. And that is it for today, you guys. This is my necklace from The Real Real, Erickson Beeman. It's re in really good condition and I'm happy that I have it. I think it's going to lend itself perfectly with my wardrobe. I think I'm going to get a lot of wear out of this summer and this winter. And it's going to look really great with sweaters because it's so chunky, so I think that with a sweater to really um, stand up well against it. And that's it, I really, really like it. I think it's a fun little piece to have and add to my jewelry collection. And I don't really have anything else to say about it. I'm gonna continue to scroll through the Real Real site and see what else, what other luxury goodies I can get at a really great price. Um, I think you guys should consider buying consignment as well if you are looking for luxury items. Because while I know it's really great to say that you know you bought a brand new Chanel in the store, you know it was fresh and nobody else owned it before you. But a lot of these items are really well taken care of. People buy luxury items. Okay, so when you buy luxury items, you don't wanna, just because you pay $5,000 for a bag or 2,000 or 1,200 or whatever you paid for a bag, a wallet or anything like that, you know, you don't, you don't always know that you're gonna love something three, four, five years from now. And like I said, just because it's luxury doesn't mean it's a classic, doesn't mean that you're going to like it forever, doesn't mean that it's not trendy. I mean, there are a lot of trendy pieces that these luxury brands come out with that are not really worth much when you try to resell them. If you take time and pick items that are classic and you don't do, you know, pick items that are too crazy, you can get a pretty good um, resale value for the items you're buying. So I'd say if you're going to dip into a luxury retail, consider buying um, pre-loved. But again, you can do whatever you like because I know it feels really good to save your money and then get a brand new handbag or, you know, a brand new wallet or whatever it is you're looking for because nobody ever owned it before you and it's all yours. That is a really good feeling, especially if you saved up for it, you know what I mean? So, but I, was, I think you should consider buying um, pre-loved. There's really nothing wrong with it. And then if you get sick of it, then you could put it on the website and sell it again and then, you know, buy something else you love. So it's a nice little, it's a nice way to keep everything circulating and not lose out on any money really. So that's it for today, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, look out for more hauls and unboxings and check out my other videos if you enjoyed this one. Make sure you give me a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy this video, give me a thumbs down, but make sure you leave it in the comments and let me know why you didn't enjoy it. If you guys haven't already, make sure you follow me on Instagram at park.avenue. I'll link it down below. Check out my blog. I'll leave the website down below as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Oh.